in the old days. But I want to give you a little bit of it that is listed here. About 12 common covenants. We have, I have the first one here. A conditional and unconditional covenant. That is a covenant that God said, if you do this, I will do that. If you do this, I will do this. That is conditional. And we have a Noahic covenant. That's a covenant that God made with Noah. And that is applied to all mankind and all creatures. Amen? The church is so quiet. Are we listening or what? Number three is Abrahamic covenant. The covenant for Abraham and his seed and offspring that we can find in Genesis chapter 17 verses 7 through 11. And this covenant is not only for the people of Israel or the Jews because when God made this covenant, he said anyone who dwell in your home. He went as far as saying even a slave bought with money should partake in this covenant. So this is the covenant for the Abraham and every mankind. Then it goes down to the covenant with Isaac. Then move down to the covenant with Jacob, of which we can also find in Genesis 28, 12 through 15. Before we come back to the Mosaic covenant, we found out in Exodus chapter 19 and 24. Then there is a covenant with Israel. And that is one of the conditional covenants. If you have the Bible, you can turn, or you can read when you go home. I'm just giving you the scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verses 1 through 29. Deuteronomy 31 through 10. That is made between God and the children of of Israel, but it is conditional. Yeah. Then number nine, we have a Davidic covenant that we find in 2 Samuel chapter 7, 12 through 14. This God established with David and his descendant as a rightful kings of Israel. It was part of our Sunday school lesson today. I don't know how he got it. God made a covenant with David and told him that his house, our paraphrases, will always provide a king for Israel. Number 10, a national covenant, often associated with a time of spiritual renewal or spiritual revival. Now, sometimes some president can declare fasting. This is past and prayer week. Amen? Sometimes they do follow things of the past. Sometimes a spiritual man of God tell them that we need to fast. Sometimes they do something and God come back and say, look, you need to repent. So we will fast. Amen? Amen. Number uh, 12. Did I do 11? No. 11 is personal covenant. And this is a covenant that most of the time we fail. That's a covenant we made with God that we will be committed to God whatever and ever means. But man always fails to pay his part. I'll be reading to you Psalm 9 and verses 1. If you can read with me. That's a covenant, a personal covenant in Psalm 9 and verse 1. And it reads, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart, and I will show forth all your marvelous work. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart, and I will show forth your marvelous work. I will let people know how marvelous, how wonderful, how significant you are. Yeah. I will let people know that you are worthy of all my praise. Yeah. When God took us out of trouble, what the first thing we say, Lord, I will praise you yeah. all the time. 
Some of us, when we are in the trouble, that's when we make vows. Lord, when you get me out of this, I will worship you. My foot will never stay out of the church. Yeah. But let God take us out of it. Yeah. We'll break that covenant. This is a personal covenant that we often, often break. Psalms 145, 1 and 2. 145, 1 and 2. I should have said I'm not preaching today. I'll just be doing teachings. Psalm 145, 